A Chinese company claims that Apple copied its design with the iPhone 6. Samsung already considering some extra curves for the Galaxy S6. And analysts already predict the future with a little more Windows Phone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and in a perfect world, there wouldn't be so much disparity when it comes to mobile platforms. This is Parker Now Daily. You know, the official news today are not that big. All we have is the IDC claiming that a Windows Phone will double in the next four years. Now, hear this. Doubling means that right now you're at 2.7% of market share worldwide. Android is at 83 and iOS is at 13 point something. And what it'll do is double to 5.6%, where iOS will still remain being at 12% and Android at 80%. Uh, so bad that there is so much disparity, but then again, hey, the same happened in the past. Microsoft ruled the world when it came to mobile, and out of the blue came the iPhone. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung, as uh, there are claims that the company is already working on the Galaxy S6 Edge. And I know it is difficult to pronounce on its own, but uh, yes, apparently we are getting a Galaxy S6 early next year, probably around some time between MWC as happened last year. And uh, in that same fashion, there is a Galaxy S6 Edge, and we don't really know uh, what the purpose is, as the Galaxy Note Edge hasn't really, you know, taken the world by storm. But uh, let's see the purpose, especially after all the administrative changes that didn't happen. And speaking of Galaxy devices, just like we saw the Galaxy S4 and Galaxy S5 running Lollipop, and we have some leaks of the Galaxy Note 3, we finally get the first photos of the Galaxy Note 4 running Lollipop. And uh, there are a lot of changes when it comes to the design. We seem to find more materially design uh, UI elements being part of this particular build than the others, though again, we still don't know exactly when we're getting it. So hopefully it'll be better than uh, what we currently see. Now let's talk about Apple. We are expecting the company to build an iPad Pro at some point. There is still a debate between 12.2 and 12.9 inches on the display, but that's really negligent. What's very interesting is that there is this video on YouTube that has a full-size comparison of all the existing iOS products compared to this 12.2-inch iPad Pro. And uh, even though we don't know if this uh, particular product will run iOS, hopefully that will not be the case, as this looks gigantic and completely unproductive. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, usually it is the case that uh, Apple sues another company because this company copied one of its design. That's the way it happens most of the time. But this is very interesting. There's this Chinese company called the Xion, if I am pronouncing it correctly. And according to this company, Apple copied the iPhone 6 design from them. According to them, they filed a patent in January that got approved in July in China for a design of this uh, entry-level smartphone that they use for their uh, OEM called to 100 plus uh, which is famous in china it seems and very interesting this company already contacted apple in september apple completely dismissed everything and now they have made the claims public and also claimed that there will be patent litigation if necessary and uh, really that leads me to the question of the day what do you think of all these companies fighting between each other, between, you know, designs and everything? You know, I, in my case, honestly, I do feel that intellectual property should be protected. That's great. The problem is what happens when a smartphone design is so simplistic that everything else looks like it? For me, that's the problem with the iPhone. It's really hard for you to go any simpler, and that's really what companies are doing. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.